Okay, today we're going to test out our new Walter Balanite one inch cutter. Um, we currently have this job we run in house. These some angle plates that we make. And this is done currently with our two inch Walter cutter. And we do, uh, it takes two cuts because of the, the depth, it's 515. We take two cuts with this cutter, profile it, finishes it up complete, and then it chamfers it. Does the two parts in here, and now we're gonna try with the uh, one inch cutter. Pile up that tool. This is our new one inch cutter. The, uh, it's hanging out of the uh, tool holder quite a bit. I don't want to cut it yet until we prove out the cutter, make sure it's good. Uh, so I do expect a little bit of, actually I expect a lot of noise, a little bit of vibration, but as long as it's going to do what we uh, expect it to do, then we'll take it and cut it off and maybe get that sticking out of there maybe an inch and a half or two inches or so. Right now it's about, I think it's about three inches. Yeah, closer, to, closer to four, it's about three and three quarter inches out of the holder. So we'll see. This is gonna be profiling the piece, full depth, 515 thousandths, 12,000 RPM. Um, the first cut is going to come along the outer part of the material here to remove that at uh, 60 inches a minute. Then it's going to profile at 250. When it takes the full width over here, it's going to go at 90. So uh, let's see what happens. We haven't run this yet, so all we've done is dry run it. So I'm going to be kind of taking it easy here the first time just to make sure we don't have a crash or anything. Hot tight the vice. Okay. Yeah, there's the vibration we were talking about. load on the machine there. As I would have expected, this is this is a little a little chewed here, but that's a lot of that's to do with the vibration. That cut is sticking out a mile, if you ask me. Just gonna throw a quick check on here. Parts are within two thousandths of size. on the length and width. So, cut size very well. That vibration I'm sure we can get rid of. And our cycle time was a minute 15 seconds. I 
know how well this is showing up on the video, but you can see there is a, it's well, well under a 125 finish. Um, is it something that I would want to send to my customer? Absolutely not, even though that's all they call for. You can see the difference. This is the two inch face mill cutter. This is the one inch cutter. But I've also got that sticking out almost four inches. I cut that, cut that length of cut in half with the amount sticking out of there. I'm sure this is going to go away. This right here is a little rough. We'll put this piece back in and touch that up afterwards. I'm going to put the next batch in and run it 100%. before running full speed now we're down to a minute and a second for the cycle time not bad 30 seconds a piece oh there you have it there's our test um, our previous cycle with the two inch cutter including the unload and load time was two and a quarter minutes. This is a minute. It takes roughly 30 seconds to load, unload. So I gained, uh, I gained a significant amount. It makes the cutter well worth the cost. Uh, the money I'm gonna realize savings just on this job alone is uh, not gonna put a dent in the cost of the cutter and everything, but it's not gonna take very many jobs at that rate to pay for itself. Anyways, uh, when we get that thing shortened up, I will definitely come back, do some more test cuts, and uh, put some video online. Later.